Welcome into Tech Time 1246 right now. Apple just released its new streaming music service today. Technology expert Francie Black is here to show us how it works and find out what all of the hype is about. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, all the hype's been about, you know, whether or not Taylor Swift was going to be on Apple's new streaming service, and she made it on there. <laughs> they finally came to a compromise late last week and decided to pay for the free trial. Well, that's right. That's right. So there is a three-month trial, but what is this about? You know, Apple's actually a little bit later coming into this, and there's Spotify, Google Play. Play Music had a big announcement last week about making their services available for free. So the way that Apple Music works, or Apple um the, it's not actually a new app. A lot of people think that it's a new app that you go into the app store and download. It's actually part of your operating system. It's just like mail or calendar, and it automatically updates with all these new features that you get in the new Apple Music app. Okay, it's not the new okay. app. It's an updated app. So when you have to update your operating system in order to it's get going it. to get it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> and uh, just to look so at under some, the music tab at the bottom. Yeah, under the music. Yeah, okay. exactly. But you upgrade your operating system in order to get the the new features. So um, some of the things, um, if you go in here, and this is the new, this is the new release, and um, there's all kinds of new music. Um, it's completely redesigned and all kinds of neat features. So there's a lot of music that you can actually pay for or get for free that you don't have to pay for under the subscription. And if you decide to do the subscription, then you get additional features, which we'll get into. So one of the things I wanted to point out is that if you go into radio, this used to say iTunes Radio. Okay, Now, you can play this for free. You don't have to pay the monthly subscription right. for it. And it's called Beats One. It's available worldwide, and it's always on. So this is just one of their new stations that's really great that's 24-7 worldwide. Now, if you play any of the music that we just looked at under new or on the radio, that is streaming. So you have to be connected to the internet. If you do the paid for version, you have the ability to download music locally and play it offline. Say you're on an airplane or a train ride or traveling. Just save it to your phone you or can iCloud. Right, okay. exactly. So that's one of the new features that you get with subscription. Plus, you also get access to all 30 million songs. You can skip, you can play, you can play whatever you want for the subscription. Okay. Um, another thing that they've just added is this connect feature where you can actually connect with artists. So if you have the paid subscription, artists can actually post pictures, additional information, comments about their music, their own specialized take on it, and then the viewer, the subscriber, can actually comment back, favorite, um, and sort of communicate in a social way. Okay. So that's, that's a cool. New, yeah, so that's a new feature as well. And then a lo another new feature is under, um, for you, you can actually, <laughs> under the subscription model, they actually handcraft music that meets your taste. So you can specify if you like classic rock, pop, hits, and they actually have expert DJs that ha they say they're handcrafted for you based on your taste and based on your needs. So, I mean, if you can't, you don't even have to pick out your own music anymore. You They'll do it for you. They'll do it all They'll for you. They'll decide what you want to listen to. Yeah, if we have time, I don't know how much we have, but we can look just a yeah, quick... about one minute. Okay, well, let's take a look then real quick at um, Google Play Music, just to kind of compare it. Okay. So, Google Play, um, about a week ago, just announced that they are offering... They have a subscription service, but they announced a free version. And so, how does it compare? Well, what they do is they kind of group their content based on mood or feeling or activity and so they make sort of recommended suggestions it's Wednesday afternoon tonight this will change to it's Wednesday evening play music for brand new music having fun at work boosting your energy and so they kind of package it based on mood how you're feeling and so forth and it's much more simple and you can search and play music and again the subscription model Free is ad-supported subscription you can download. Okay. So, um, that, and I've got all of this on iPadWisdom.com with a lot more details, pricing, family plans, the difference. I include Spotify online as well, so if you're interested about those differences, um, big thing on Spotify is that it's available on a lot more platforms. All right, so if you want to learn more about the apps Francie showcased, just head over to the Tech Time section at WLOS.com or, of course, to uh, her website she just told you about. You can yeah. sign up for her free e-newsletter. Yep.